Hello, we're going to use Hot Potatoes today to make a matching exercise. To do that, uh, you have to select J-Match and you will be given a, a table that you can fill in with the items that you're going to match. The first thing we really need to do this time is save the file because we're going to use some images and if you're using images in Hot Potatoes, we'll just show you, um, what you need to do is create a folder and have those images saved ahead of time. Hot Potatoes doesn't embed the picture into the quiz file, it actually just links to the image. So you have to keep the quiz file and the images all together in the one folder. So we're already prepared with our images. What we need to do is save the file. So let's just click the disk and give this file a name. We'll call it um, Matching Master. And then we're ready to actually enter our information. So let's uh, match cities and countries to their pictures. That will be the title of our quiz. And then what we'll do is we'll put in some country and city names that we can then match with some images that we've already got saved. Okay, what we're going to do is put the image in the right hand side. Whichever image we put in is the, the correct matching answer, so we put them in in the correct order to begin with. Insert picture from file is where we're going to find our pictures and looking in that folder with our images already saved we can pick the relevant image and pop it in. It will first of all ask you what size you want the image to be. I'm going to just make them quite a bit smaller and it shows you what you'll end up with so you can judge what is roughly the right size for your quiz and click OK. And now what you notice, this is quite important, it hasn't actually popped the image into the quiz file. It simply put a link to the file and the other information relating to the size of that image. When we actually have the finished file for the student to see, they will obviously see a picture and not this code. Let's just carry on and pop the rest of the images in there. Do Paris, and again we'll just make that a little bit smaller. And then we'll do Rome, so insert picture from file, and we've got a picture there again just make that smaller and then the last one insert picture from file is a picture of a castle in Scotland and again we'll just make that smaller so it fits a bit better there we are so we can now see that each country or city has a corresponding answer I'm just going to save the file again to make sure that we have that saved and then what I'm going to do is select the web option there are two here I'm going to select the one that creates a drag and drop exercise you can't do the first option here, which creates a drop-down menu, because I've used images this time. If we'd had text on both sides, we could have had a drop-down menu version for the students, or we could have had drag-and-drop. But if you're using images like I have, we have to do a drag-and-drop exercise. So this one isn't called Matching Master. We're going to call this one Matching um, Drag-Drop. Okay, so we know what kind of quiz it is. It's saving in the same folder, so all our files are together. And we're then being asked if we'd like to view the finished exercise in our browser. So I'm going to give that a click. And at the bottom, you'll notice we've got a, a blocking message. This quite often happens with your internet browser. You must tell it to allow the blocked content. It very often happens with hot potatoes. And when you've done that, you then see the finished quiz. And if, if we had full screen, you would see that you could see all of those words, the shuffled, uh, Hot Potatoes has automatically changed the order and shuffled everything, and what the learner has to do is then grab the image um, and drag it into position. So um, we want to put the Apple Tower for Paris, Colosseum, and then we've got the Houses of Parliament. Once you're finished, at the top there you've got check your answers, and it will give you the feedback correct. Well done, you've got 100%. Okay. And that is how you create a drag and drop exercise in hot potatoes.